Hello Leos. This is you versus them for the 22nd through the 28th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Let's see what we've got going on for Leo. What's been going on with my Leos? Three of Wands, waiting on those ships to come in. I feel like there's something that you guys are kind of, um, you're looking back on, actually. And I'm getting that you're, you're waiting for somebody to um, approach you, to come in for you. But I'm getting that this person is coming from your past, actually. Um, I don't get that you guys are looking for someone else other than this person that we're doing this reading on okay maybe an aries here that you guys are looking for okay what's going on with them what's been going on with them in the recent past hmm. we have the four of pentacles mm, not much really just trying not to be emotional not opening up their heart I feel like they're kind of shut down okay and this usually comes after you, you know you've tried to to work with someone compromise with someone even and um, feeling like things just did not work out so it's like you shut completely down and um, I feel like that's where this person has been Capricorn energy there what's keeping Leo from this person What's keeping Leo from this person the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Um, either this is the same individual, Capricorn energy here. Um, this person is not willing to open up or you feel like they're not willing to open up. Or you guys are um, just feeling like you want to... You want to spend your time um, just kind of working and building on yourself here. But I'm, I'm feeling mostly this is this individual with their back turned and not really lending their energy or their time to this situation being kind of closed off from you is kind of, you know, what's keeping you from them. OK, and then as I pick, get ready to pick their deck up, I noticed that the three of wands is also on top of their deck. All right. So maybe they're looking for you as well. You know, so you guys may be like expecting communication from each other here what's keeping them from leo what's keeping them from leo the knight of swords hmm. this person feels like they already know some truth about you um and they feel like whatever they know is um is good enough for them to move on and go forward and go towards you know other things move towards the future and not look back I'm getting that, you know, there, there's something that they feel like they know, that they've learned, and um, they really don't need any other information to be able to move on. What's coming in for Leo? What's coming in for Leo here? What's coming in for Leo? The King of Wands, standing in your power. Um... You know, you guys are still looking back at the past. I think that you are definitely interested in someone that you would like to um, build with, actually. I think that you're looking for a stable relationship at this point with this Queen of Pentacles individual. And um, I think there's some things that, some kinks that you feel like you need to work out whether or not to take action because I think that's kind of what you're thinking about you're taking a moment to kind of like contemplate and um, you know really kind of go over things in your head about what it is that you really want and what you want to do with that okay what's currently going on for them the Queen of Cups I definitely get this person is very supportive this is probably a mother here is what I'm getting um, very loving they have a family um they support other people other people lean on them they're responsible for people financially even okay so and i'm getting that this person's very intuitive as well she's almost like or he's almost like um almost like a counselor they they keep people afloat 
you know they help people here and I feel like there is um, some transformation that is definitely ensuing in them okay they're, they're changing this individual they're changing for sure <clears throat> what's influencing Leo here what's influencing Leo oh all right a decision that needs to be made on whether or not to make an offer a loving offer to have this committed relationship Scorpio Aries energy here again hmm. you're thinking about this and I see that here you're thinking about how you can um, go about getting this four of wands with this individual um, you know what should you do should you do it? You know, it's like that. It's like all these things I feel like are playing around in your head. You are playing around with in your head. And um, definitely, you know, I I'm thinking that you guys are wanting this individual to approach you. And you're trying to see if they will actually make a first move. Uh, or give you some sort of sign. Something like that is what I'm getting here. All these cards wanting to flip out. Let's see. What's influencing the... Uh, What's influencing them? Mm, okay. So we have the hermit here. Mm. This person definitely, um, they have this inner knowing. Okay. And whatever it is that they have found out, and, and it doesn't have to be anything that somebody has told them or something that they have seen, but there's something that they know that, and, and when the hermit knows something um, or is trying to figure out something, there's something that this person has learned um, that they will not go back down the same path of destruction even. You know, whatever they have gone through before, um, they they will not repeat those mistakes again. Okay, so there's something very significant going on with this individual. And the hermit looks for their path, you know, what they're supposed to be doing. They look for their destiny. They try to figure that out because they do not repeat past mistakes is the thing. They only want to go towards, you know, that road where they don't want to veer off from. They want to stay on in that direction, going towards things that they feel like they deserve, going towards things they feel like they're supposed to. Okay? That is the thing about the hermit. All right. Okay, preach, Danny. Let's see what's coming in for Leo. Okay cart flying out here let's see what this is oh okay eight of cups walking away walking away I'm feeling that you guys because when when the eight of cups shows up there's something some emotions that you're feeling that you want to get away from okay and maybe you guys are trying to get away from thinking about the past so heavily playing things over and over in your head or you guys are deciding to basically abandon this situation basically leaving well enough alone okay and and that's almost like you know the hanging man just feeling stuck and feeling like there's nothing else that you can do but to leave it alone and that's like the eight of cups okay so that's what's coming in for you guys or either this person is walking away but I'm strongly getting that this is you guys kind of um, I, I think you're tired of of thinking about this you want it to happen but um, really not being sure of if it can happen or you know that sort of thing what's coming in for them What's coming in for them? The world. Hmm. This is definitely wrapping up a cycle and starting something new here. 
this individual, but um, this is a vice versa tarot, of course. You see this person is facing out. They're going out into the world. They're exploring something new because this is the last card in the tarot. This is 21. The next card here is taking a leap of faith out in the world. The fool card. So there's something new that this person is starting. Something that they have wrapped up here or getting ready to wrap up here. Okay. They've definitely learned something. There's something ending and then there's a new beginning happening in their life. Okay. Investing their time elsewhere in the future. This is investing, thinking about the past, but this is going towards the future here. Okay. Hmm. What's blocking Leo? That card wanted to flip. What's blocking you? It's the Seven of Pentacles. Not investing. Waiting. Just waiting, I feel. I I'm feeling like you guys are hopeful that, you know, what you've already done is enough to bring in what it is that you want. Um, but you guys are like in this waiting period right now. Not really doing much, okay? Hmm. Both of you are like, I, I'm feeling like even though you have these feelings for each other, um, you, you're kind of moving in opposite directions. Hmm. Just blocking them. And we have the King of Cups here. Maybe this is you guys not really, you know, showing them emotion here because we have the Queen of Cups here. And then we have the King of Cups here. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Wands. I'm feeling like you guys are not, you know, you're not showing them that you want to invest here emotionally. It's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like this got, this is you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What's the advice for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? The moon. To see things clearly. To reveal your feelings. Speak on it. I'm just getting that. Just, just speak on it. Reveal your feelings. Open up. Be clear on what it is that you want with this person. Okay? Be open and honest. Hmm. What's the advice for them? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. And see, you know, with this Page of Cups, this person's this person's in the water. And see, this is this is the front frontward facing um, portion of the card offering. This is this person entering the water, but they have their back turned to um, the shore. And so, what I'm getting here is that this person really needs to open up. They need to turn around. They need to open up, stop being closed off. Because right now we see that they, they're closed off here. They need to open up. Hmm. They need to be open to love. Because they're very comfortable right here. Holding themselves very close. You know, not allowing anyone in. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the outcome is here. What is the outcome for Leo? What's the outcome for Leo? Yeah, they really need to explore their feelings. Hmm. Let's see. The Knight of Swords. Speaking on those feelings, what I say, speak on it, and then all these cards jump out. Look at that, the truth, doing what's right, 
fighting for what's right. Fighting for what's right. Speaking the truth. Only you guys know what's right in this situation. I can feel it, but I can't, you know, I wouldn't dare tell you what to do. Wouldn't dare. But I, I see it's so evident here. Hmm. Let's see. What's the outcome for them? What's the outcome for them? Look at, oh my gosh, look at this. The moon. This is the moon. Hmm. I think this person, you know, they go in and out of, um, they definitely have very strong feelings for you. Very strong feelings for you. But I'm getting that, you know, their moods kind of change a little bit as, as far as you're concerned. I think that they right now they are at a point where they have a hard time even thinking about their feelings for you. They're having a hard time with this because something has happened to where they're, they're closed off emotionally to the situation definitely very loving in general but as far as a love connection an intimate love connection is concerned I don't think they're that willing to um, just jump into things I don't even know if um, I don't know if they would be open to it because I'm, I'm getting that, you know, they need some clarity here coming from you. They definitely need some clarity, okay? You guys have repeating cards with the Knight of Swords being here and here and the Moon here. Definitely. And then as, look at this. What did I say about the world? Wrapping something up, starting something new, going out in the world. This is the end of the tarot. And then this is the beginning, sitting on top of their deck, the fool. Taking a leap of faith. But the thing about this side is, this is facing in the reading taking a leap of faith but i definitely think they need to hear something from you guys there needs to be some clarity in this situation for this person i feel in order for them to take a leap of faith with you otherwise it'll be like this them going out into the world away from you okay so that's aries energy here um, we have cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys and I'll speak with you soon.